Did he die? No, he's still moving. He was just laying down. He was playing dead. Oh, that's right, because here at the aquarium, I teach my pets tricks. And, well, these guys, uh, are playing, have the IQ of a rock right now. Sea Dragon at 100? Oh my god! This is not even a- this is not a level of healthy that I can enjoy. Look at this, he's too big to even load in! These guys are kind of spazzing out, but it's okay. They, uh, I promise we take good care of our fish and other alien species here at the aquarium. And you can't prove otherwise! So anyways guys, welcome back to Subnautica. Today we are checking out some pet leviathans, and I also have animations for the Sea Emperor to show you guys. And, um... We'll probably check out the prison again, see if there's anything down there, because I haven't been down there yet since I, uh, since I started setting up this. By the way, this took me like three times to set up, damn it! I, uh, I don't, I don't even want to get into it. This was just annoying, and, and the sea dragon... I don't want to talk about the sea dragon. I really don't. Either way, guys, we are going to look at some pet leviathan. What the shit are you doing in here? Why, why did you shit everywhere? Guys... We just gotta clean that up real quick. Alright, so that was annoying. Why are they freaking out and shitting inside here? Is it because they're scared of me? I think they're scared of me. Yeah, they're definitely scared of me, so... <laughs> Anyways, I've gone ahead and I've made a giant aquarium because I thought these guys would be adorable as all hell, having them caged up inside boxes. Like, kind of animals. I'm a horrible person. But no, I thought it would be kind of cute. I thought it'd be cool as hell. I did this with the mod, by the way. There's a mod that you can modify the sizes and stuff of things. I'm going to do it at the end of this video, too. Um, over in that one and that one, because i got to show you the sea dragon in this one, but I can't spot it in right now, or else it'll destroy the entire damn base! And then this one over here, which, uh... Or is it the other way around? I don't know. Oh, well. Either way, leave a like if you enjoy Subnautica, and uh, let's get into this. So I have a bunch of gasopods, obviously, in this first tank. I had, uh, <laughs> before I had, like, stalkers and stuff in with them, but they ended up, like, dying because these guys just attacked the piss out of them. Which was kind of annoying. What the shit is this? Sea treaders shit everywhere? Guys, why are you, what, are you just standing in one spot shitting in retaliation for me caging you up? They were moving. It looks like they've blocked themselves in with their own shit. Yeah, they've literally blocked themselves in with their own shit. They can't even move anymore. This is what you guys get for shitting everywhere. This is what you get. Now clean it up! If, I, if it's not clean by the time I get back, I swear. I will break your cage. Bad things are gonna happen. So in right here... Whoa, what the shit happened in here? Did the hoop fish kill everything? Oh no! We got a live crab squid. Okay, that's a baby crab squid. I think what happened is the, uh, the... Crab snakes, I think, and the crab squids fought. I think those are crab snakes, I'm pretty sure. But they got into a fight, I think. And it just didn't end well for either party. And we have one lone crab squid left alive here. He's so- that's so sad! Maybe he- I mean, he could still survive. He could eat the bodies of his parents and the crab snakes. But I mean, after that, what's he gonna do? Oh wait, no, there's two! There's two of them! How'd you get in here? How, how'd you get in here? What the hell are you doing? Oh well, you're- you, I'm gonna hold on to you for a little bit. Um, yeah, there's two of them alive in there. There was a super small one right there, that tiny one right there. Or no, that's a- that's a cute fish! How did the cute fish survive- how does it- how did it survive all that shit? That cute fish has seen some shit, dude. Oh, and the crab squid. The crab squid just chased after- Dude, run! Oh my god! He just straight up tried to get- You guys see that? He like extended his claw and stuff? Look at him, he's hiding behind the body. Well, wow, this guy's a little shit. The cute fish is just like following around the crab squid. The crab squid doesn't even know where it is. That's- that's freaking adorable. I regret ever putting those in the same thing. So right here we have the reef backs inside all of the tanks. Well, the tank, obviously, and they're kind of just doing their own thing. Um, I tried to spawn these guys in at 0 0.1, and it was a bad time. It was one of the reasons why I had to reset my, uh, my entire thing. Now, this guy, I think, died. Did he die? No, he's still moving. He was just laying down. He was playing dead. Oh, that's right, because here at the aquarium, I teach my pets tricks. And, well, these guys uh, are playing, have the IQ of a rock right now. Because they're- they're just that good. Like, that one was just playing dead on his back. See, that one's doing it now. They do that, because see, I have the fish in my hand, and maybe reefbacks like to eat fish. You don't know that. You- you don't know what they eat. Actually, that you probably do, because you guys probably know more about Subnautica than me, but... You get the idea, like... It's- it's still super cute. So in here we have Reaper Leviathans! Hell yeah! And there- there's a cute fish freaking out, running away. Um, there was also something else in here I thought that I had, unless the Reaper Leviathans ate it. But these guys... These guys were a pain to get in here too, because I like spawned one in at 0.1 and it was like the size of the tank and it was just caged up and couldn't move. It was actually pretty bad. What the hell? Are they still trying to kill the cute fish? 
This poor little guy. Look at this. They're attacking the cute fish. No, don't kill my, don't kill the cute fish. He's like trying to, he's desperately trying to get away, but he's just, there's nowhere he can go. He's hitting the walls. He's like, why the, why can't I walk out here? Or swim out here. Oh my God. They just headbutted each other. I feel like I should give these guys some peepers. I'm going to give them some peepers real quick. Here we go. I just gave them some peepers. Now they can eat the peepers in peace and not, not attack the cute fish, hopefully, because the cute fish is just <laughs> getting pulverized. So those peepers should keep those guys alive for a while and uh, doing their own thing. Wait, what the shit is that tiny thing over there? Did, th did something just get out? Or is it still in there? There's a really small cute fish I think that just got out. The peepers are either getting out too or they're being eaten. I think they're being eaten. Oh yeah, they're getting eaten. They're they're oh boy, those reapers were hungry. Okay, so feeding uh feeding pets is obviously a priority. We have some uh stalkers, I think these are called. I, I'm not sure. I call them dick snouts anyways, because of the snout and the fact that they're dicks. That's what I call them. They're kind of infected. Um here at the uh, aquarium, we do keep everything sanitary, just so you guys know, but accidents happen and sometimes these guys sometimes these guys like to eat their own fecal matter. And it's something we can't really avoid. I think it's an evolutionary trait uh, with these guys, so they uh, they get more attention from their handlers. Yeah, that's totally not a made-up reason, I swear. They they will never eat their feet. Listen, I mean, if I lived in an aquarium, if I was trapped inside a giant glass cylinder, I would probably reek of assholes and sadness, to be fair. Oh, there's one of the parents trying to get its, its young out now, but you're at the wrong aquarium, bud. This regularly happens, by the way. But yeah, it would be like assholes and sadness. Can you imagine being stuck inside one of these cylinders the entire time? I would suck major ass. So, let's stop sucking major ass. Let's go over to the baby leviathan. The, the uh, 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 sea emperor leviathan. There we go. These guys aren't even the babies. They just head on collisioned. The shit was that. Okay, but these are the baby leviathans. They're just cute as all hell. Now, you can get these as juveniles, too, but I spawned in the adults. It's super small sizes. Um, guys, if you are going to do this on a, on a, on a save and you're going to put lots of time into it, save just before you spawn them into your aquarium. Uh, just because, like, it'll, it'll, it'll help you in the long run if you have to restart or something like that when you have this entire thing built, because it's, it's a pain. Trust me, you will mess up spawning these guys in at the right size. I would recommend starting at either 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 because uh, most things are giant. And it sucks major ass, but these guys look like they're pretty content. They don't eat any peepers or anything like that. They eat the uh, the bullshit that's on the ground there. And Yeah, let's, uh, let's move over here. So this is the Warper exhibit. The Warper exhibit is empty because I made the mistake of... Not realizing they would probably teleport out, which I will show you right about now. Oh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you a giant warper too, and I'm gonna see what the biggest creature I can make is. I'm gonna see if I can get something like bigger than the aurora, maybe or something. So in order to do this, you need to do spawn scaled warper. Let's do three at zero point zero point three because these guys aren't the biggest anyway. So there's three warpers in here now. Look at all cute caged up like they're prisoners and oh wow he just he warped but he did whoa where'd they all go did they all get out oh god they, they all got out oh shit you see what i mean like they, they get out of the aquarium and i wish i could make like some kind of warper force field or something where they just can't get out or like emp their minds so they can't do shit but i, I think these guys are bioengineered anyways so it wouldn't really matter i wouldn't be able to stop them from doing their shenanigans because i'm pretty sure if i mess with their computer systems or whatever's running them it would probably make them die, and, well, then we wouldn't have an aquarium, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to move over here, and we're going to put in a Sea Dragon Leviathan now. So it's the same method, guys. In order for you to do this, too, for Spawn Scaled, you need a modified client. And uh, you can find some modified client uh, tutorials on YouTube. Um, I, I, I'm not able to, like, show you right now, because even I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done this in a really long time. Let's go ahead. Let's put some... Uh, no, we're going to put some Sea Dragon... And we're going to put three of them in here at 0.01. There we go. That's the size at 0.01 of the scale. Oh, God. Oh, God. 0.01 of the scale. So, ba wait, we could have sea emperors and sea dragons fight it out inside this cave or inside this cage. But, yeah, like, you guys get the idea. Like, 0.01 is 0.01% of their whole size if their whole size was one. If I spawn one in at one, it'll be full size. So that's, these things are freaking monstrously big. Let me go ahead. I want to summon in a Sea Emperor. I'm going to summon in three Sea Emperors at 0.01. No, they need to be bigger. 
They need to be 0 0.05. There we go. Now they'll stand a chance. You guys go ahead and fight it out against the sea dragons. Sea emperors and sea dragons are fighting inside the containment. And it looks like they're getting hit because usually, from what I've noticed, when things are hit by, uh, by like, attacks and stuff, you get that, like, gassy effect and stuff. So, they're, there's, look at that. They're straight out fighting it out. Look at this. But the thing about the sea dragon that I, Oh, God! One just died! Oh, no! Oh, you don't have any animations, so it looks pathetic. But I have animations to show you guys, and it looks really cool. But this poor guy is... No! I don't even think the sea emperor is going to attack back. And they attack back? Hang on. Are they- are they attacking? No. Oh, wait! No, I thought a sea dragon just died. Shit, you, these guys are just going to town. There's another dead sea emperor! No! Why would they do this? Oh god, there's a fire. There's a fire inside the base. This is why I can't have sea dragons. They damage the walls of the base too, which is the worst thing about it. Um, I'll show you, like, these things out here... I know, I know if the fireballs go through the right way, they'll damage everything in here and they, they can kill it and give it a bad time. Is this guy dead? Yeah, he's dead. See, this one's dead right here. And then if I go over here, I'm willing to bet that some of these bone sharks are having a bad time right now. This guy's having a seizure, he's convulsing and shit. This guy, yeah, he's having a really bad time. He's like convulsing and everything. It's, it's not the bacterial infection, I can tell you that much. It's not the Karar virus. These guys are still fighting. They just don't give a shit. Reaper Leviathans don't care. They don't care about life or anything. Oh, we do have a dead one, though. Yeah, we have a dead one right there, and we got a floater. We gotta get him out later. Too bad, uh, as you notice, we don't have any hatches or anything to go through to get those guys. Now, we have these guys... Is it dark in here, or is it just me? Is it just because I went nighttime, or did something, did something mess up? I feel like there might be a breach inside the base. I'll have to check that out, but these guys right here are having a good time still. Playing dead, doing their trap tricks and stuff. These guys are all dead. Oh yeah, that's right. They were they were dead anyways. It's not a big deal. We move over here. These guys are still shitting up a storm. Yo, they like they built the Great Wall of shit. These guys should work for Trump. They would get some work done. Oh god. Oh god. Everything's going through the base. Oh no. Oh no. They just blew the side out of the base. Shit. And there's a hole inside the base here. It's flooding. The gasopods are still alive. I'm surprised about that. And then the reactor. It reactor. Wow. Reactor. The reactor is compromised. So definitely not a good dime, guys. Let me just free cam back out. I'm going to get out of here before I die from a sea dragon blast to the ass. Just get over here. Now, I want to go and check out the prison real quick. So we'll do that so I can show you guys whether or not things were updated. Because there's been a lot of updates being pushed into the game lately. And then from there, we will look at the sea emperor... Uh, sea emperor... Hoobity Wadi stuff. Sea Emperor animations. There we go. See, I, I can't think right now. I haven't I haven't eaten. When I woke up, I just kind of got on the computer and did my own thing. But you can blame lack of sleep for that. That facility is entirely flooded. Well, it's being flooded. Cool. Let's go to the prison. That scared the piss out of me. I, I thought... Oh my god. Look at this. That's so weird. Holy shit. Can you not throw molten rock at me? I didn't do anything to, to you. I can tell you one thing, if it was multiplayer and I went into a base, and I could see this shit going on on the inside, I probably wouldn't attack that base or try to steal from it. If, the, if someone has baby sea dragons in their base, that is one bamf. That is one badass mother blooper. So let's go ahead. Family friendly, hell yeah. Let's go to prison. Ah, uh, here's the prison right here. The main spectacle. I don't see anything new outside. Now, this is the primary containment facility. For those of you who do not know, this is weird. Weird, wow. Where the Sea Emperor will be housed along with, um, along with some other things. Now, let me just run up here. Now, I'm gonna free cam. Now, like every other video that I point out, structures will probably appear inside this place for a split second and then despawn. I don't know if it's a leak or if it's because I'm not a developer. They might just stay in if you're a developer. It probably just checks your character to see if you're a developer or not. Let's see. I see the gate. I see, I, yeah, one building just appeared. Wait, the gate even just, oh no, the gate appeared. If I go down here fast. Anything spawn in? No. But I'm, I'm pretty sure what the deal is, is there are structures in here, but we can't see them because it probably checks to see if we're dev flagged. 
And if we're not dev flagged, well then they probably just despawn to avoid spoilers or a normal player somehow getting in here and then wondering what the shit is going on. So no, there is nothing new at the prison yet from what I can see. Nothing at all, which kind of sucks. I was kind of excited to see what would happen, but let's go back to biome safe. Not that it's very safe with the base that we've built. Now, I was going to mess around with the size of the creatures in this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Calm down. I was going to mess around with the size of the creatures in this. Maybe, you know what? Let's free cam over to the Aurora. I want to see how big a reef back is compared to the Aurora when it's scaled to like 10. All right. We have the Aurora right here. This monstrous ship that has crash landed on this alien planet. Godforsaken planet. And let's just go ahead. And we will spawn scaled. Reef back. One. And then we will do one at normal size just to get an idea of how big it is. So that's a reef back at size one. That's the natural size this guy is supposed to be. Obviously, he's nothing compared to the Aurora. But... If we go ahead and... Wow, it actually, it looks like the ship was ripped in half. Hang on, where's the other half of the ship? Unless this is the entire thing, and then this is just the front end completely blown up. I feel like the ship was ripped in maybe a third? I don't know, you can see the reef back is just there. How big it is? Alright, size 10 reef back. We're gonna do this. It's just... Bring you up. I'm going to bring you to 10. There we go. All right. Oh my God. That thing is monstrous compared to it. Yo, what about a size 100? Can we do over 10? Let me see. Cause I mean, we can go to 0 0.01. So size 100. <gasps> Yo, oh my fucking God. Look at how big that thing is. Holy shit. The Aurora has nothing on that. What if I spot in a sea dragon that big? Holy shit, I didn't know you could go to 100? Oh my god! I gotta do a sea dragon at 100. We gotta- we gotta do that. And then the sea dragon and the titan levi- or titan leviathan. Wow, the titan uh, reefback are gonna do this. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Sea dragon at 100? Oh my god! This is not even a- this is not a level of healthy that I can enjoy. Look at this, he's too big to even load in! These guys are all bugged out, because they're just too big. This guy is like the size of the map. I'm not- we're- we're over at the freaking gun. We're over at the gun and this guy- can you imagine how big this thing would be to see in game? Like if you were just going by and then suddenly out of nowhere you see this giant- like it looks like it's a freaking piece of rock. Can't even see its freaking face. Look at this, it's all the way down here. Just imagine if the ghost Levine with the, leviathan was that big. Alright, so that was kind of cool. Um... Uh, wait, hang on. I wanna. I just wait. Is that the is that the size one hundred one? No, that's not the size one hundred. There it is, right there. The one tentacle coming out. So what if I do a sea dragon at like thirty, thirty times its size? Yo, that thing's freaking massive. That is scary. Nothing would keep you safe from something that big. Look at that. These things are literally the size of the map. Actually, I, if I spawn a reef back in and I go past 100, I'm willing to bet. Wait, maybe if I... Went th oh, God, 1,000. Oh, Jesus. It, it's bigger than the map. We're actually inside a sea dragon, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're, we were inside the sea dragon. It's the size of the map now. It's bigger than the freaking moon we have. Guys, can you give me some information on what that what that planet is? Cuz I don't know if there's any any history about it or not. Yeah, let me just just free cam out. We are living inside the body of a sea dragon right now. The peepers are all just freaking the shit out. That thing is massive. All right, I want to move into the sea emperor sounds now and stuff because this is just a little bit too much. Oh my, no, 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 no. Let's not, let's not cause the planet to erupt into freaking assholes and sadness. Holy shit. My game's lagging out. I gotta restart the game. 
All right, so we don't have anything too advanced here. I just brought up a video of the Sea Emperor's basic animations. I figured I would just bring this up now and show you guys and end the video off here because there's nothing else really for me to show you in-game. I will probably mess around in-game with the mod again and just do some crazy-sized modded creatures. I want to see what would happen with the warper at like 100 times its size, like that giant warp spear that it has. That would probably be amazing, and I want to see like... Huh, I don't know. I know I can get older versions of the game, so I want to try and do some stuff with that secret stuff, super secret stuff that I think would be cool. But either way, I want to show you guys this, so let's uh, let's go ahead. We'll play this video. This is from a developer of Subnautica, and uh, well, yeah, let's do it. So this is just the Sea Emperor doing its own little thing. It's idle animation, so it has tentacles that move around, which is nice. It's just chilling out, doing its own thing. It's doing 420 friendly stuff. Shader display? What do you mean? What do you mean shader? Shader display? Wireframe mode? Don't know what the hell that is, but it turned it completely gray. But you can obviously see this is just an idle animation or maybe even swimming forward at a very, very slow speed. Like it's just hanging out doing its own thing. Now maybe this, this right here looks like it's a little bit more whippy and stuff. It's doing more stuff. Which, right now, it kind of just moves in a solid line. Now this right here, what is this? This is swimming forward. This has to be. That is actually a really cool animation. It propels itself through with its tentacles. Now, what is this? Oh, this is when it's just gliding through the water, I guess. Just doing whatever whatever leviathans do. I don't know. That's some cool stuff. The animations are completely different. I, don't, I like it. I like it a lot. But guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Let me know your thoughts on the Sea Emperor animations. And let me know what you think about the aquarium, too. Because that was kind of cool. I am still sick. I, I have super aids right now or some shit. I don't know what's up, so I apologize if I sound weird in the video or if anything seems a little off. But guys, thank you once again for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Teach me about that extra planet we have because I don't think anyone's ever told me about that planet, to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever learned anything about it. No, I haven't. No, never. Yeah, you guys let me know if you do, if you do know anything. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.